So what can you do as not Gary Vee? Have the actual conversation and tell your sister, your mom, your uncle, your aunt, your child, your best friend, the next time they come up with an excuse, that it's a fucking excuse. The reason I say the thing that if there's anybody that ever looked like you that made it, then there's no excuse, is because I believe it. You know, it's really hard, you're in an argument and the, your friend tells you, that's great, Gary, but both my parents were alcoholics and that really fucked me up. Right now you're on the defense, that's a good first punch by them. I'm like, cool, we don't need to use me. If anybody has ever been successful that had two alcoholic parents, which by the way, I know of three, well then, now what's your excuse, Karen? We are just so interested in blaming everybody else and excuses because we don't want to take on responsibility. And somewhere a long time ago, I went completely, I only take, I, you know I think everything is my fault? Like, all of it? Like, I think it's weirdly cloudy outside right now and not nice out, my fault. Like, his scar, my fault. Like, I fucking just default into my fault. And everybody tries to do everything else the other way. And let me tell you how good life becomes when you take on responsibility. It gets real good. Uh, some of you, and there's a lot of you that follow me, you know why I keep bringing up the last scene of Eight Mile, the Eminem movie? How many people have seen that movie? Great. The last scene, they go into the battle, he makes fun of himself the whole time because it leaves the other person with nothing. The leverage is in being accountable of everything. The leverage is exposing your weaknesses. I proudly talk about passing on Uber twice, being a DNF student. You know, I proudly talk about my shortcomings, right? I can't wait for more bad things to happen. I mean it, because I will talk about them because what, you're so fucking perfect? Fuck you, right? So how do you do it? You have the conversation and you realize that you're doing a disservice to the people you love the most by holding your mouth shut because you're not willing to deal with the short-term conflict.